hey lovelies welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be sharing with you how i came up with this amazing super hair growth living conditioning tea which you may love so so much this tea is rich in nutrients that will prevent other scalp infections and also makes your hair grow super fast so stay tuned and let's get right into this video so you see how i go about this diy the very first ingredients for this DIY is our fresh rosemary leaves. I'm using fresh rosemary leaves for this DIY. You may want to use dry rosemary, whichever you have at the moment, then it will be good to go. So once you get your fresh rosemary leaves, you just go ahead and wash them pretty well in order to remove some bacteria that may be found in the leaves. Rosemary improves blood circulation in the scalp and promotes hair growth and it prevents itchy scalp. Using it as a leave-in condition, it may leave the hair feeling glossy and soft. Our very next ingredient is the bay leaves. Bay leaves is a natural hair conditioner and the antioxidant present in bay leaves can help smoothen your hair and also render it shiny. It prevents dandruff and itchy scalp and also get rid of lice and also helps in hair regrowth. The next ingredient now is a fenugreek seed. I'm using fenugreek seed. Fenugreek also prevents hair fall and treating other scalp infections. So to start up the whole process, you need to put in about 3 to 4 cups of water in your pot on the stove for it to simmer. After you've done that, then you go ahead now and put in your rosemary leaves to the water. After putting the rosemary leaves, you go ahead and add in the fenugreek seeds and also the bay leaves. So once you're done adding all the three ingredients, you just let it boil for about 5 to 10 minutes. So you stir it pretty well and let it boil now for 5 to 10 minutes before you turn off your stove. So it has been boiling now for about five to seven minutes and you need to make sure the water turns completely brown before you turn off the stove. So it needs to turn completely brown before you turn off the stove. So right now I'll just go ahead and turn off my stove and I'll let it cool down for about an hour before I apply on my hair. So after an hour that you let it cool down, you just strain out the juice from the leaves, okay? So after you strain out the juice now, this is how it looks like, yeah, this is how it looks like, tag brown. So you just go in now and add in your oils. I'm going in with my natural hair growth oil. If you want to know how I came about with this oil, then drop your comments down in the comment section below. You can add any oil of your choice, either tea tree. Um, olive oil or any essential oil you have it will still be good for the balance you can keep in the refrigerator for about a week so this is how my mixture looks like I'll just put in my applicator bottle and I'm ready to apply so this is how my hair looks like I literally uh, moisturize my hair twice a week or once a week if I'm so busy so your hair should be clean you need to apply this leave-in conditioner spray on a clean hair and you just walk it through so you need to section your hair while you spray in your leave-in conditioning tea so you just spray in a little amount of that to your hair and make sure you concentrate on your ends spray on your scarf and do a scalp massage and also walk it through with your hands and concentrate on the ends of your hair in order for the tea to get in every strand okay. 
after applying the leave-in spray to my hair I'll just go ahead now and seal in moisture I'm using my super hair growth with shea butter cream if you want to know how I did this I have a video I will link that up in the description but so do well to check that video out so after you've done that walk it through with your hands and twist your hair so guys we've come to the end of this video i hope you found it useful don't forget to give it a thumbs up click on that red subscribe button and turn on your bell notification for more amazing diys hope to see you all again in my next video bye love you all